Hi, my name is Dr. Adahan, and I'm just, uh, for the purpose of demonstration, would like to show you how surface acoustics uh, have the wonderful characteristic of uh, being very efficiently transduced uh, and traveling across bony surfaces in order to access the cranial foramina and the cranial nerves uh, within them. Uh, surface acoustic waves travel, cause elliptical particle movement, which, unlike traditional acoustics, uh, tends to travel along surfaces remarkably inefficiently. To make a demonstration of this, we've put a pain shield device on this patient's forehead, and we would like to show you how we can measure through this, uh, uh, let's just call it home shop made transducer, which is a nylon filament which will absorb the uh, acoustic wave and work through this device over here to turn it into an electromagnetic wave that can be seen on the oscilloscope. So the, the surface acoustic wave uh, measure here is set to detect waves of about 100 kilohertz. We would like to turn the tester on, and if we apply it here to the forehead of the patient, uh, you can see on the screen uh, that there is excellent transduction yeah. of uh, the ultrasound wave. Mm -hmm. Now that's quite close to the patch. If we actually uh, go quite distant to the patch, uh, and go within the auditory medius, uh, medius here, within the internal canal, we also see that we can detect a significant amount of surface acoustics that have been transmitted. This means that the surface acoustics is in fact wrapping the entire skull and all of the foramina within the skull, and that's why we can detect it within the ear. It also travels quite well across soft tissues. For example, if we... Uh, if we uh, use this uh, detector in order to measure surface acoustics at the level of the cheek, we see that it has successfully traveled uh, throughout uh, the face and, of course, on the contralateral side as well. Clinically, what this means is that a surface acoustic actuator applied to the forehead will transmit surface acoustics throughout the entire skull. Once the skull is wrapped in a surface acoustic wave of 100 kilohertz and about 2 micron uh, wavelength, we could expect that surface acoustic wave to be reasonably efficiently transferred by the cerebral spinal fluid to the underlying surface of the brain. As for the cranial nerves, they will receive it firstly through uh, direct bony transduction, from the bony skull to the cranial nerve foramina to the nerve itself and lastly will also receive some effect probably through the cerebral spinal fluid that will be carrying the surface acoustic uh, wave to uh, the base of the brain. Thank you. You did it nice. Okay.